Sylvia with NASA Goddard Television and we're here at Cape Canaveral, Florida. This is Air Force Station, Launch Pad 37. It's very exciting. We're going all the way up to the Delta IV rocket next to the fairing. And in a few days, this rocket is going to carry the Gozo satellite into its orbit. So let's go up and find out a little bit more about this launch vehicle and what's going on in a few days. I'm here with Charles Maloney. He's the Boeing program manager for the GOES NOP mission. So where are we now and what's happening in a few days? Well, we're at the Delta Launch Complex 37 on the eighth floor and we're right next to the spacecraft fairing. So the spacecraft is tucked safely away in here behind this. Two days from now, when we get to launch day, this whole tower will separate and move away from the rocket, so it has a clear path to launch. Why is GOZO launching on a Delta IV rocket? Is there anything special about this launch vehicle? So what's special about this rocket is that it puts us into a very high orbit, which saves fuel for the spacecraft. That extra fuel savings translates directly into extra years of life of the spacecraft, so the nation will be able to use this spacecraft for about 50% longer than it would on most other rockets. Tell me a little bit about the geosynchronous orbit. What does that mean? Well, the GOZO orbit is called a geosynchronous orbit. And what's special about that is it allows the spacecraft to remain stationary over one spot of the Earth. With that stationary location, it can achieve the most accurate pictures of the Earth to be able to track the severe weather that this spacecraft is designed to do. As a program manager, you must be very excited about the upcoming launch. Well, there's really a tremendous feeling of excitement and anticipation. The launch vehicle's ready now, the spacecraft's ready. In just two days, we're finally going to be able to put it into orbit and be able to demonstrate the performance of this outstanding spacecraft. So the team is very excited. So next to me is Pat Jassan, it's Boeing Systems Engineer. So Pat, what is your role on the GOZO project? Here at the launch site, I am the spacecraft director and so I'm responsible for getting the satellite prepared in preparation for launch. What are some of the things that happened behind the scenes prior to launch? So within the last couple of days, uh, we have charged the batteries to prepare them for, their, uh, um, for the launch day, bringing them up to the flight levels of battery charge. And then yesterday we completed our full up launch countdown rehearsal um, all the way through the script. So why is the GOZO mission important? What do people need to know about it? The GOES mission is important for many reasons to the United States, uh, providing weather forecasting to protect lives and property, uh, to give us advance warning of when inclement weather is going to occur, such as hurricanes, and GOES-O is only going to help improve that. So it looks like the GOES-O mission has a critical role in helping predict severe weather, and it actually saves lives. For more information about the mission, for some cool animations and video, visit www.nasa.gov slash capital G-O-E-S dash O.